Greetings gentle ladies and men. Today we will be learning how to make a golden head statue using GIMP. Isn't that awesome? It's a golden head statue resting on a pedestal. I thought it would look cool so here we go. Before you start make sure your canvas is large and um, I'm choosing to use large canvas well over 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Drag over your subjects onto your canvas and then scale it up make sure it fits quite nicely into your canvas so um it's a picture of uh, one of my friends and uh his birthday came up so we had to make something for him <laughs> ah okay all right um reduce the opacity for the image a little bit the things you'll be drawing later would need to show clearly so um, reducing the opacity would help. Create a new layer on top of that and um, using a thin brush. Um, a thin brush of about I think one pixel or two pixels would be good. So we are going to be tracing and making some outlines around the face and, and uh, just uh, think of it as a line art. So draw some lines around the, around the face of the object and um, sketch it quite nicely. I got a graphics tablet I should say um, not very long ago so I'm getting used to it I'm trying to learn it, how to use it because up until now and I've been using an external mouse to draw so my lines are not as smooth as I want them to be but that's all right. <laughs> It might take quite some time to sketch but where's the fun in that if uh, if it's too easy to do as an artist uh, one thing you need to have is a bit of patience I know there are some workflow that enable you to produce some good looking art in a short time but um, masterpieces need time I'm not saying this is a masterpiece but sometimes the longer you spend on a project the better it is so back to our drawing you can toggle the visibility of the layer to see what you've done what you've drawn so um the outlines i'm just toggling the visibility to see the sketches you've done continue to add more details to your sketch and um draw the details on the face the eyebrows and the features you know quite nicely and then i'm looking at the shades i'm just gonna make it look like some kind of a not really like a comic art but the where the shades are on the face i'm going to be tracing around it and getting onto the pedestal, I'm sketching some pedestal off the top of my head and then um, clearly I wasn't too, um, I was too lazy to go on Google and search what the pedestal looks like. So this sketch was just from the top of my head, the pedestal upon which the head would rest. So here we go. Then uh, that didn't look so good. Let's clean that up a little and sketch even more uh, just until it looks good enough. Okay. This kind of pedestals are, uh, I think they're used in ancient Rome, <laughs> but uh, I'm not really much of a history student. Continue adding some harsh lines to your sketch. It's going to look like a kind of a pencil drawing. We'll add some colors later to that. And I'm um, thinking about the scene of our drawing. I'm going to increase the brightness. I want the overall look of my painting to be brighter. That's why I just increased the brightness of the background. And then um, adding some more details, sketching out the shades on the face to add a little bit of effect to it. You know, um, while making this, there were a lot of thoughts coming through my head 
um, first, firstly I thought I could just make it um, a stony statue then ah why don't we make it a golden head statue um, but as the workflow progresses um, ideas come and ideas are modified so that's the way it is keep adding more details to your art and create layers layers are your friend add layers and continue to draw on them so things that belong on different layers make sure that they are different so right now i'm creating another layer to add um colors to the image so that one is beneath what we just sketched upon it i am going to be adding some colors and painting the face the skin upon this color layer is just beneath what we sketched getting on to the next phase of this design while painting in the colors and um, making forming the face and forming the portrait firstly you would need to i would advise use larger brushes in the start and as you get to adding more details you reduce the size of your brush so instead of going in from the start to add colors and add um, details and everything you could see from your from your um, subject start with the bigger larger brush sizes and then paint in what you need right now i'm switching to the digital paint brush so that because it has um, a bit of a nicer blending effect to it so where you have the lights use lighter colors where you have the darker um uh, the brighter shades use brighter colors Before continuing, let's consider this. Why not make uh, the head golden instead of making it a stone? So that was my thought process while painting. So before getting to paint, it's good to pick a palette. So uh, gold usually comes with a bit of yellow, some reddish color, and um, you can adjust the wheel, pick some colors that would you could use to make it golden. What I am doing now is on a fresh layer, so creating a new layer above what I have done but beneath the outlines layer. So I am adding colors using a bit of a larger brush but not too large to add the overall placement of the colors. This would help me have um, a good map out of the colors and their placements so the reddish colors are coming in the shades and the brighter colors are coming where the highlights are if you get what i mean so you could play around with the colors use the ones that give you the result just the result you need or one that would make it look a little bit um artistic as the painting takes shape reduce the brush sizes and add further colors further details you see um where you've got edges use either brighter colors or darker colors to make edges actually look like edges so right here touching up the highlights touching up the shades making sure everything looks good There's a bit of light coming off from the left hand side so from that direction I am giving them brighter colors and um, making them look like colors closer to white giving them much more lightness.
Create a new layer to add more saturation to this, our face, it looks a bit flat. The new layer, call it overlay, change the blending mode to overlay as well. Upon this you'll be painting with some colors which you want to overlay the face with. In this case we are still using the golden colors like yellow, orange, red, ish. If I would say so myself, this looks much better, doesn't it? You basically use the same principle. Where you want the brighter shades to be used to brighter colors. Your overlay is simply blend the things together. Make sure your blending mode is in overlay. Let's add a bit more contrast to the portrait, create a new layer, call it white. Upon this we'll be drawing some thin lines, white thin lines along the edges and corners of the features of the face to make our portraits pop a little more. Let's not forget to add more shadows where shadows should be and um, especially under the face cap on the forehead there should be some shadow. So creating a new layer and calling it shadow I'm brushing it over with some uh, dark red colors then adjusting the opacity making sure everything looks good The face looks alright at the moment, so let's switch on to the pedestal. And um, using some lighter grays, let's add the brighter parts of the pedestal. And using some darker grays, let's add the shadows to the pedestal. And um, I would really recommend this digital paint brush in GIMP. It helps you place your colors quite nicely. Use a larger brush size to set general th tones to the subject and use smaller brushes to add details to your statue. Even darker greys to add outlines to the pedestal. Let's add some white highlights to the face, especially the pupil area. Some whites on the pupil, some whites on the eyes. Nice.
and then some shadow upon the pedestal. I'm not using complete uh, grey, it's a bit of reddish grey mixed together. And how about a custom design on the cap? Why would it be nice? Let's add some contrast to the cap. Some shadows would be nice and some highlights would be good. And then switching to our pencil tool and using the pen generic dynamic let's um, fill up the background see we are working on the background layer that's the that's a layer just beneath what we just painted I'm gonna be drawing and writing his name in the background just chaotic nothing too orderly at the moment a sketch of a candle in the background would be nice. A heart somewhere on the background. Balloons. An arrow. <laughs> Plus one. 100%. Nice. And all done. The projects file, the GIMP file, the PNG file is available to download simply check the description of this video the file is available to download on my website the link also is in the video description thank you see you on the next video